Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Journey of Life. Uh, my intro was supposed to be running back in, uh, me pushing the cart, uh, full of limestone. Uh, I've actually filled it up, you can actually get nine stacks, and it's actually not bad. Uh, it bugged out on me. I couldn't actually get out of the cart, and uh, what I did, you could actually see my arms sort of hanging out in front of me. I couldn't interact with anything, and it was all buggy, and I actually had to I quit the game and come back in, and all that stuff. Uh, I'll remind you, early access, but uh, I'm sure most of you are, aware, are used to that with this channel. Oh, hello, look, look at the bunnies. Kind of fat looking bunnies, but uh, good eating. I still don't know if there's going to be a, ever going to be a way to actually clear the grass, because look at these, these flowers are as tall as me. That I'm really short, and I'm not actually crouching. Look at that, I can hide in the grass. Hide from those nasty creepers. Anyway. Uh, today, uh, what, uh, the reason why I got all this limestone, uh, as you can see, you can see all of the stacks in there, is because I want to start building a house, but I decided I actually want to go with the, the limestone foundation. And we'll go into this, and you can actually see the different textures. So this is the, th the thatch, which uses uh, those stick bundles that we get, the birch. And then there's uh, the limestone brick, which I actually want to use for... A f you know, an actual foundation. And there's also wood planks, and then we have clay, which is clay and thatch. And I actually want to go with this. But each section requires five bricks. Each brick requires five limestone. So I probably don't have much or enough, but uh, definitely something I want to get into. But before we get into that, we got to go ahead and make the, the hand grinder. And I was looking at this, I was looking at the stations, like there's just so many things that they have. And uh, this is just the beginning, like they're, they're planning on getting into like oil production and I think steel and other stuff down the road. I know there is gold in the game that you can find. Uh, needless to say, I was gonna, at, at that cave, all those boulders, it, like the whole cave, you could completely hollow it out. Each one is different, there's clay, there's limestone, there's iron. Uh, some coal in there too, so that'll come in handy, but we've got to find a way to light it up. Uh, there's also the other... Can I use this? Okay, that's just for the ores. Uh, but, yeah, I've still got to make that elevator to get, actually get into the mine. And I heard the wolves too, I was out there this morning, it was, they were really nasty. But this is what I need, two stone wheels and 15 planks. <laughs> Uh, so I do have some lumber somewhere. Uh, I've been using this chest too. I don't know what I have in here right now. Oh yeah, more limestone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some planks made and stone wheels and we'll check out this hand grinder. So I'll be right back. Okay, uh, back. It is also a new warning. Uh, also, too, uh, regarding uh, this mat here, the reason why it's not in this workbench here is because I've actually upgraded this one already. And so this is, uh, we'll call it the Tier 2 workstation. Uh, the, pr the first workstation before you upgrade this actually does have the recipe, and I've tested it already, but an issue with the game locking up and crashing and doing its early access stuff, but anyways, uh, I'm starting early here because I'm sure this is going to take me a while to do, but uh, I do have everything right on me, as uh, you can see, i got the stone wheels, i got all the planks I need, so let's go ahead and make this hand grind, they call it. Now, I was hoping there was going to be a powered version of this, but uh, not yet. Now, I don't know what the turnout's going to be, I don't know if it's just going to be one limestone dust to one limestone ore or rock, but... Uh, we'll place it for now, and uh, it was mentioned too about moving stations afterwards, and I'm out, I'm aware of that. So we will take care of that shortly, but I want to actually check this out. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is going to use stamina and thirst, or hydration, to use. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, let's see what happens. I just want to see how much I actually get. Took four, three, three to one. Are you really? Oh, wow, it's going to be a little while. Uh, all right, well, uh, 
Oh yeah, I put them in the chest. Uh, let me see what I can come up with. I might have to run it back to the mine, but I shall return. Okay, I'm back, and the results are in. All that limestone, I think it was 17 stacks, so close to 80 pieces. Four bricks. Uh, yeah, to make one brick was needing 15 limestone chunks. And to make one one stone foundation is five bricks. So I think we're going to have to go with planks on this one. Uh, so since we're going to do that, I want to check and see if this plank storage will actually uh, work with, uh, whatchamacallit there, the woodworks. Now, one thing I'm trying to figure out is, where is it here? Plank storage, dry gla grass patch. Where do I get that? That I'm trying to figure out. So I might have to search this up. So I shall return. I might have to deal with my water. I saw some berries around. I'm not going to see if we can find those. So I'll be right back. Okay, apparently it was a willow tree, which is right here. So let's see what we can get from it. Actually, I got to deal with my thirst. Uh, we're going to need some planks anyway. So. Uh, I want to try to keep some of these non-palm trees around. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of these down so I can get the coconuts. So uh, let me get my things together, get some planks, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I uh, was looking around for a while, and then I decided to go check over by the cave where the clay is. And sure enough, I found a willow tree and uh, a ton of bamboo. So if I ever need bamboo, I know where to go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, get the plank storage and I didn't see that before but I can actually hold 50 planks and then what I'm gonna do is I want to see yeah uh, if we fill it up if we can actually move it keep the planks in it that way we can use it sort of like a builders box for instance all right let's hammer this together I like how it still shows a stone stone hammer uh, I don't know what else we need this dry grass patch for, but uh, it's the only thing, not the only place you can actually get it is from the willows. And you can't upgrade it, but you can move it, so that is good. Alright, so now the question is, let's see uh, what's in the area. This one meter logs. Uh, let's try this here. I actually saw some logs, where did I see them? I got all these little trees cut down, I can't even see the logs anymore. Oh, there's a whole bunch right here. Because uh, the grass is too long. We need a lot more. Anyway. Let's go see what happens here. I'm going to get all four crafting, and then the logs will drop there. So I'm going to go over here. And I want to make sure it stays drawn. I don't know why it undraws like that. I wonder if the house will do the same thing. And it didn't actually go in there. Why? I thought it was going to go right into the storage. But that's not the case. Oh, well. It's, uh... Hmm. Am I doing something wrong here? Why can I pick this up? That's kind of, kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just like the cart. I gotcha. So you actually have to drag it in there, and I didn't actually show you that with the cart. And it keeps its contents. Okay, but yeah, with the, the cart here was the same thing. I had to put things in, you see where it says empty? Uh, well, I actually use a small plank here. You actually drag it into the cart, and it goes in. Now, it doesn't actually draw it out, but just do that, and you can take it and come up like so. 
You can do the same thing here. Just drag that in there and it goes in there somewhere. The only thing is though, I don't know how to get them out. Now it's reading two plenty storage. And I just grab it. That takes them all out. So I'm gonna just leave the the two meter in here and then probably build another storage if I can get up more of this dry grass. I don't know what I have left of it. Uh, did I put anything in here? I think I lost it all. I got five. I can find one more willow tree. We can make another one for another one for uh, one meters. But anyways, I'm gonna do some cut. Gonna do some drinking apparently, and I get a whole bunch of planks and let's build ourselves a house. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, I do have the thing full of planks, uh, not completely full. I've used a few of them up already. Uh, I ended up making a few more boxes. Uh, I decided to be a little energetic too, and uh, before I opened this box, I had no idea what I was in for, and anybody who's even made these knows exactly what I went through to get this. But I have a chest full of 20 bricks here. I was hoping to get enough for six foundation, uh, six brick foundations, but I have enough for four. So the the house itself is going to be wood. It's going to be uh, planks for floors. I'm going to use the, the the thatch for the walls and stuff like that. Uh, but I want to have an area for things like the the, the smelter and the ore processing and all that stuff, and you know, I'd like to have it on a brick foundation, sort of. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's actually start with that. Let's open this up. I'm going to take five. No. I think I'm going to take ten bricks out. And I can show the, the building set up here. And I think that you could actually shift click out. Okay, it wasn't. There's nothing you can actually do. I thought you could shift click, but that's not the case. All right, and... Uh, I don't know what it is with the red clouds. I was getting like weird red clouds. I don't know if it's like a morning thing. I usually don't pay attention. I'm usually running through the bush, heading off to the mine to, uh, to get limestone. Uh, yeah, as far as the pickaxe goes, the head's been holding up. And I've gone through five or six pickaxe handles already. Uh, I had to move the tool workbench over there, take a few handles over with me for the last run. And instead of using this, what I've been doing, I've been just filling up the chest and moving the chest and running along. So I've got 20 slots of storage right here I'm carrying with me. And I figured that was a smarter way of doing it than trying to deal with this cart that only has 9 slots. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get into build mode here. So, we're going to start with the foundation now. There's different things you could do. Hold on. Uh, yeah, they actually have the control messed up there. Uh, the scroll wheel changes the structure type or um, yeah category so like that you hold alt and then you go through the different things so you got you got furniture you got uh, that's foundations you have posts you got door frames doors windows uh, floors roofs stairs whatever that is and it's not showing it because it needs foundation but yeah all these different things and you can see like the subcategories just above it so there is quite a bit of building we can do I think that's a fence of some sort anyway uh, we're gonna go to foundation and then uh, I'm actually holding alt to change to that and then uh, scroll wheel to go through here but this is the the brick so I'm trying to think of where I want the the house I want this to be in the back for sure and I'm thinking about having all this stuff on this side. Yeah. Let's go one there, another one there, and another one there. And then what we do is we just exit build mode, and I'm using T to do that. And you just take your hammer and you fill it in. Uh, I don't know if the whole blueprinting, or the, the blue grid is going to be a permanent thing or if it's going to change, but... There we go. Two hits with this hammer. And I think with a stone hammer it would have been a little more. Oh, and I need more bricks. So yeah, this is what I wanted to do six. I had a feeling it was going to be a little small. I'd like to have a two by three area, but at least 
the place that'll be semi-fireproof. So let's run back over here and grab five more bricks. And at least that way I have, I just have to get 10 more bricks made, which is still a lot of work. All right. And I hope they do something about the grass because that will bug me. Possibly. I don't know if there's a hoe that we can make. I like gardening. Maybe I could put like a gardening plot down and remove it and get that. Yeah, that's going to be... I don't think I can move it either. No. Hmm. In the name of science, I'm going to see if I get my resources back. Nope. I lost five bricks. Damn. So now I'm thinking I probably should have built it over an area like this. Hmm. All right. Well, I got five bricks left. We're going to go on the back then. Simple enough. Always learn the hard way, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have the house attached to it. That's going to be outside. So it's going to be a door that you get you into here. Definitely like this building set up. Oh, wrong tool for the job. There we go. All right, and then uh, let's see here. We're going to go to I want planks, plank foundation. And then we'll go. And then apparently, you can make blueprints. So you could build a structure, use the blueprint to copy the entire thing, and then use it to build the same thing somewhere else. Now, I'm thinking that 3 by 4 should be enough. It's a 3 by 3 because I do want to have everything inside, too. Let's do a three by four, just because. Like so, let's uh, get rid of this tree. Oh, let's get out of build mode first. There we go. Was it updating? All right, and then I'll just Pick all this stuff up that I'll probably use. Uh, this is what I'm building the walls out of. So I want to get down to it. So uh, let me finish this up and I shall return. Actually, what do I need? What do I need for it? Uh, let's see. Five planks each. That's a lot of planks. Hold on. What did I do wrong here? Actually, that might be a good idea. I was thinking about having some sort of porch. Let me think about this. Hold on. Let's take this one out. So if you go into build mode and you just hold, you hit Z while you're in here, it brings you into uh, dismantle mode. And then you just hold the left mouse button and hit T again to go back in. And, nope, there we go. And I hit Z to go back into here. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have two more on the back here. All right. So let me uh, get out of here and I'll finish it up and I'll be right back. Okay, here's what I got. And so far it doesn't look too bad. Uh, probably look a little bit better once we get some walls up. And so, so that's what we'll do. And now uh, we're going to have to go with thatch, unfortunately. Which is going to be this one here. So let us see what we have for walls. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's uh, space, not alt. Uh, let's start with doors first. Uh, no, this might not be too bad. Uh, I was thinking I have a door here. Cannot place. It needs pillars. Really? Huh. Interesting. And, uh, hang on a second here. What did I pl place there? Brick. No. Get rid of those. Yeah, don't mind me. This is my first time building. So does that mean I'm gonna have to put posts everywhere? Let's find out. Go to walls and let's see thatch. Where are you? Okay. 
Okay, this is going to be interesting then. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to pillars. Oh, they really have to be out of... Oh, okay. There's thatch pillars. So, yeah, this is going to be a thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, let's see how, see how it turns out. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting then. Uh, that's actually going to be a porch, so that's not going to be a wall. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, one there, one there, one there, and uh, like so. All right, now to the doors. I like how it gives you the preview. It's not bad for the planks, though. Pricey. But it's not too bad. Alright, now let's go to our windows. And usually, with all my buildings, I usually have windows everywhere. Just So it's a good idea to look around, right? And I like this, being able to actually place structures or uh, sections without needing, like, basic framework. And I missed a door here. So... Go ahead and fill this in with thatch. Now the question I have is about a floor. What is that? That's a basic wall, railings. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go for, you know what, for the floors I might keep all the floors planks. Just because that's that one, yeah. And I'm actually curious to see how this is gonna work. Really? Hmm. Okay, let me see then. Uh, oh, my stairs in that corner then. Oh, uh, all over the place here. And then we go to stairs, and let's see what we have. Uh, because it's technically a floor, I'll go with the planks. Oh, come on. Why are you not snapping right? Uh, it'd be nice if I could actually see it. Okay, that'll work. I think I might actually have enough on me to fill this in. As soon as I can get out of build mode. Uh, let's see if we can finish up these stairs. No, nope, I have no planks, honey. Alright, well, uh, let me get the walls in and finish up the stairs and we'll see how she looks. I might actually have to... Uh, I might leave the windows there, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just starting to fill things in and there seems, seems to be an order that you have to do things. Uh, for one, the stairs are saying wooden stairs need foundation. And I think foundation, I think it means either the walls or possibly the ceiling as well or the floor uh, the floor as you see needs foundation which means it needs something underneath uh, the walls however say need overlays the overlays are actually the pillars one pillar there one pillar there and now I can build the window if I had enough birch on me so yeah there is uh, when you're building you gotta go and Get everything set up. You gotta put your pillars in first, then put your walls in, and then put your ceiling in. And after you get the ceiling in, then you put the stairs in. Uh, some games you can, well, you don't have to need the, necessarily need the pillars, but you know you can go ahead and just build stairs anywhere. You can't just build stairs anywhere here because you need something for the stairs to rest against. Anyways, I shall return. Okay, I am more or less done. I ran into a few snags. I had some issues with this shit. The issues with the stairs uh, but I'll show you that in a second uh, what I'm going to show you though is I deforested the entire beach just to build my house crazy there's a lot of trees like even those jungle trees I can't wait to cut those down I can only imagine how many logs you get from those things but here it is this is the house it's not 100% complete uh, the stairs there were to put the roof on uh, unfortunately, they didn't really have a, 
I gotta get some puppet strings. You know what? Let's put a ramp in here. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll show you in the roof sections here. Uh, for instance, like you, you see, there's the peak, and I wanted to put a couple of these in there, but it wasn't gonna work out uh, because I had built it with even number, so it'd go on the end, but then you'd have the opening because of the way the side walls go, like uh, over there, right? So it wouldn't work. And then we have the corner, and we have the reverse corner, and then we have this is just a cap, right? The problem is, though, is that what I needed would be a cap that only has three sides. And then that way I'd be able to fill it up. So I had to go with a flat roof. If you've watched my Stranded Deep, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But let's go in here and have a look. Uh, these pillars here don't have to be here. They're actually for uh, the roof. Because in order to actually put the, the roof on, I had to add pillar supports. So I put that up. Uh, for the time being, I put some blank sections up there. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing, I don't know how well this is going to work, because I noticed in the, in the workbench there's vertical connectors you can make. So I'm thinking of possibly setting up a, a windmill, let's say, on this tile here, have the connector going over to here, going down, and then powering the whatever machines we have up here, like the ore crusher and stuff like that. But anyways, this is the top floor. i got a couple of balconies here. i got a balcony out here. Uh, I like the railing. There's actually a whole bunch of different types of railings you can make. There's like a, a rope one. Uh, let's actually get the hot bar out. No, not that. Uh, let's see. Railings. Let's see if I can actually get a spot where I can place it. Where we can see it. Yeah, we'll do it over here. So as you can see, there's that type. Uh, yeah. We got the rope. Just plank wall. Uh, opening. Opening with the uh, railings and different types that's not too bad I gotta see if there's like a ladder in the game because that would come in handy uh, but yeah I put this here so I, one so I could actually build this in place but at the same time too when it comes to put the windmill up here and I could probably have that connector going down here and working its way through uh, between now and the next episode I am gonna get some more limestone and expand this pad because this really does need to be a little bit bigger I think another row of three but that's a lot of limestone. It really is. But the issue I had with the stairs uh, was I, I didn't like how it was. I wanted this section here to be over here. So you'd go up on this side and then continue up. So you're going up against the wall. But I had a problem with uh, a hit box. Because when I mirrored it, so I'd have to go up this way after I built it, I just hit a wall. I couldn't continue on. I tried rebuilding it a couple of times and wasted a lot of planks because of it but here it is but what we're gonna do and uh, i don't know if i can actually make them on me is i read you can actually make put the torches on the walls so i'm gonna go ahead and craft the bolts let's uh let's oh. take two for one no oh, it's just not showing the the set the one i guess we'll make a couple of ropes and then put some torches on the walls because apparently you can hang these on the walls okay craft that now while we're doing that let's go start moving some stuff over so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go and have some of the drink i've been eating coconuts for about a week because they're all over the place like so many coconuts i really do have to clean up the area all these palm fronds are probably going to start creating a lot of lag uh, first of all, let's uh, let's move this bad boy here. Go ahead and move you, and we'll run up here. We're actually gonna put this. We're gonna put this in the back. Gonna put it up in here somewhere. Uh, I can always move it later. I do want to get the the smelting furnace out here, so let's let's put the that over there for now. Because uh, what I want to do. Let's actually equip some torches. Oh, they don't stack. All right, that's fine. Anyway, so yeah, apparently you can. I was told you could place them on a wall. This has to be like right in the middle of a wall. Hmm. Uh, let's try something here, shall we? Okay, not a brick wall. 
Uh, I'll go with the thatch. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. I think I have no thatch on me. What do I need? What do I need? Where are you? Five. Ugh. Okay, not a problem. Uh, oh, yeah, that was actually the right box. Okay, let's put that in there. Uh, put these in here for now. Because I have three torches as it is, but apparently you can place them on a the wall and you can actually uh, light the area up, but I'm hoping it doesn't actually burn the place down. And this has to be lit. Let's try that. I don't have a fire start, do I? No. Let's go check over here. Um, which box did I put it in? I think it was this one. Nope. Is it this one? No. Oh, yeah, there's two. Okay. Put that there. Put down a hot bar. Oh. Yeah. Early access. Gotta love it. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll go th through the house. Not through the door, the wall, but through the door. And you should still have fuel. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I was told you can place it on the wall. Apparently not. You can place it on the ground. Oh, I wonder if they mean. Nope, <laughs> that's not the case. Hmm. Let me check on that one. Okay. Well, it seems I was actually wrong about that. Uh, I also do. Uh, Went out their Discord and asked about uh, if anybody else is having this texture issue. It only seems to be this one particular wall. So uh, we'll see what happens. I still gotta have my windows. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay, so anyway, so let's start moving some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and move you. Uh, where should I put you? You know what? Let's put you on the back porch. Just because I'm turning you a little bit like so. I never even noticed a drawer there. That's cool. It's kind of funny. It's got a drawer, but this stuff will fly all over the place. Okay, and next is going to be the workbench or workstation. Is it going to take the pickaxe with it? I guess I have the pickaxe on top. And I'm almost thinking too of maybe even trying to build another fireplace in here. Or even move that one in here and pray to God it doesn't burn the house down. Okay. Oh, look at that. It actually took the pickaxe all. Ooh. I have to try something. I have to try something. Really? Uh, I tried. But that doesn't mean I can, can't do something like this. And I think you, some of you might actually know what I'm trying to do here. Oh, really? Come on. That's no fun. I want to see if it's actually possible to carry more than one box at a time. Uh, I tried. Unless Unless we can actually place it right on top of the plank. No. We can't. Okay, that's fine. I had to try. I really did. You know, if you can find an easy way of doing things, may as well. Okay, uh tool station. Oh yeah. Uh those are all dead by the way, so they're probably gonna end up being firewood. I think we're gonna put you Hmm. Put you right over here. Kind of pointless having the windows now, but. Okay, good enough. Uh, if that bugs you, I'm sorry, it's a game, it's not me. Okay, now we gotta go grab the furnace. Oh, okay. 
yeah, those are actually dead. I thought I left the, the other ones behind, but I, then I remembered, oh yeah, I have six dead pickaxe handles. Okay. And now the smelter. Okay, and... Blue view. In case you're wondering what I'm doing when you're I'm in the inventory like that, if you hold the right mouse button outside the inventory window you can, and move the mouse, you can actually change your view. So that's how I'm doing that. I also like to try to get some sort of shelf or something to put all these molds on. Hmm. You know what? Let's actually go over here. Okay. Oh, it took the mold with it. That is good. Now, I was hoping there is actually some furniture we can make. Uh, chairs and a couple of tables. And I almost want to see if I can use this for the molds. Uh, also, too, I've already tried. You can't actually move these afterwards. Planks. Oh, yeah. I'll have to finish that up afterwards. Uh, no, I don't have enough planks right now. Actually, I might. I might. Probably not, though. Nope. Uh, I've been having a lot of no problem now finding those willow trees. They're actually quite abundant now that you know where to find them. There's like just over where the clay is, just past there. There's like willow trees everywhere. Okay, what else do we have down here? Oh yeah, we've got the, the grindstone and the ore crushing station. But it seems like I don't actually need the grindstone anymore because I'm using uh, the iron tools. And everything with the iron tools, it's the handle that breaks. It's nothing else. You know, I haven't, I haven't actually had to regrind my axe. Speaking of my axe, if you look at it, uh, it's... Uh, uh, I'll show you in a second once I place this down. I put a different handle on it. Uh, it has a longer swing, but it's also. It, do it does more damage to cutting the tree. Uh, let's see, this is the ore crush. You know what? We're not even going to need, need this. It's like a spider. Uh, drop down, will you? Uh, let's, where should we put you? Let's put you there for now. Okay, oh yeah, that's the table. Uh, okay, what else we have? I think that's just about it. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll clean everything up. And I'll bring you back when I got something. Okay, and there we have it. And it's amazing what I gotta do to get a decent screenshot around here. Uh, that texture issue is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, I haven't heard anything back yet. I'm sure by the next episode we'll get an answer on this. and. See what it is. I've checked all my settings. I can't see what it is. Uh, there's no config files to, for me to adjust, adjust things. But yeah, this is what I had to do to actually get myself up because I was trying to get, get a nice view for a screenshot, but you can't really see much from down here. Uh, sadly, this is a waste of waste of materials now. Uh, I did go with the thatch up there just to save the planks. Unfortunately, you can't make the thatch stairs. So actually, I think you can. Oh well, too late. But yeah, everything's all set up now. I got the workbench there, or the tool workstation there. I got the workstation there. I got the stairs that are going up. Got some chests in here. Uh, what I can do, and I was actually thinking about doing this, I just forgot. I left the fire going again. Go figure. But I'm hoping this doesn't burn the house down. Oh, what do you know? I actually have wood. Okay, do I have a fire starter? I do. Oh my god, it's like it's like I was actually prepared for this. And at least we get some light in here at night. Hopefully it doesn't burn the place down. I got the so-called bed in here. Uh, next up, oh wow, it's really smoking. You didn't even notice the smoke outside. Bring it inside, it just start smoking. Uh, but yeah, next episode we'll start getting into some other stations, like uh, get the loom going, for instance, so we can start making cloth, so we can make a proper bed, and uh, also at the same time too, f f see what I, I can do with with the wind power here. Like I know there's all sorts of different things we can make with them. We go to craftables, like we got uh, oh, not there, tools, stations. There's the rule. That's what we want. So we have vertical connectors, which go vertically, and a large vertical connector, more vertical connectors, horizontal. 
Um, now, I think with the vertical, you might be able to get two of these horizontals on. I'm not 100% sure. But I know the windmill itself, you can get four of those connections on it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, so I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, you know, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.